This building is a secondary dwelling, or more commonly it's referred to as a granny flat. The size of this dwelling is 20 square metres internally, and there's a further four square metres outside as part of the deck. A yardstick's house is built on a concrete slab, and it's constructed from a material called cross-laminated timber, which is a structural building system, a panelised system. And these particular buildings outperform conventional buildings for air tightness, insulation, acoustic properties. And this really enables us to keep the house very cool in summer and very warm in winter. A yardstick's house is a very sustainable house. The house is clad um, in a skin of matte black metal cladding. It has uh, a shed style roof in that it pitches up to allow the light to come in in winter. And the idea is that the concrete slab soaks up the sun and then radiates that heat as the temperature outside drops. But the deep reveal that covers the deck means that we keep the sun out in summer and the concrete draws the cool temperature from the earth and radiates that inside. It also benefits from solar power um, and there's a 5,000 litre water tank that catches all the rainwater that hits the roof. The form of the building is such that we have a, a low point down in the bathroom in the kitchen and then it rises towards the opening to give us the feeling of volume and it benefits from a three and a half metre high ceiling in the sleeping and living area. All of the openings are positioned for cross ventilation. There are louvers above the sliding stacker doors and an Anita window opposite the sliding doors. The timber itself is Queensland grown radiator pine and this is an extremely sustainable building material. We've expressed all of the character in the timber and then we have a lime wash finish to soften the effect of the yellowing of the timber. We've built a structure that frames the wardrobe, a dining and sitting nook and the kitchen. The kitchen, albeit small, contains all of the utility that you would have in a larger kitchen. The material that we've used is a laminated plywood. The edge of the plywood gives the same impression of the timber. To avoid unnecessary clutter, we've used a cutout for the handle rather than a conventional handle. In the bathroom, there's a large walk-in shower. The walls are tiled entirely in a mosaic tile that provides the bouncing of light and the feeling of space. The shower runs all the way to the ceiling to accentuate the height, and there's a large window for natural ventilation. All of the lighting is low voltage LED and all of our LED lighting is integrated and concealed. A Yardstick's house delivers backyard architecture for underutilised spaces. It delivers a very green house, a very sustainable house. It is a very clever little house. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our Never Too Small channel by clicking on the logo and the notification bell to receive updates on our latest episode.